Good day and welcome back to the Valderimi Show. Today's going to be a good day and I've got a great guest to start the morning off. I've got Dr. Armstrong here and she's with the National Psoriasis Foundation and she brought a friend, Leah, to talk with us about psoriasis. Ladies, welcome to the Valderimi Show. Thank you for having us. Dr. Armstrong, we're going to start off with you. Let's give people an understanding of what psoriasis is. Absolutely. Psoriasis is a common inflammatory chronic skin disease that can affect any part of the body. And psoriasis actually comes from a part of our immune system being hyperactive. And what it looks like is that our patients oftentimes have these red, itchy plaques with flakes on their skin, and it can occur from the head to the toe. And what they happen, what happens is that they uh, oftentimes have uh, a lot of uh, carry a lot of depression or anxiety. Um, it just has a quite negative impact on their quality of life. About eight out of 10 patients with psoriasis will have a type of psoriasis called plaque psoriasis coming, warding, coming from the plaque that they experience. And about a quarter of those with plaque psoriasis will have moderate to severe disease. Is there a cause for psoriasis that, kn that is known that maybe you can avoid it or how does it originate? Yes, so uh, for some of our patients, it may run in the family, but for other patients, it may occur spontaneously. We still are still trying to understand the cause of psoriasis, but uh, we think that at least in part, it's due to a part of our immune system being really hyperactive. So we now go into this inflammatory state where our skin, uh, we see our skin breaking out. Is there any treatment for it or what is the latest treatment? Yes, so the FDA recently approved a new oral therapy for psoriasis. It's called Sotic 2 or Ducravacitinib. It's a once a day pill that's indicated for adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who are also candidates for systemic therapy or phototherapy. It is actually a first of its own class of new medications that really target a specific part of the immune system that's being implicated in psoriasis. And it was developed by Bristol Myers Squibb with whom we're partnering today. I personally am very excited about this particular medication because in clinical trials, it has been shown to perform better at clearing skin than our standard oral therapies. Um, now, one thing to note is that uh, as with any clinical trials, with any medications, patients can experience uh, side effects. And some patients have found that they experience common colds or a cold sores or folliculitis uh, with this medication. So it's very important for our patients to talk to their healthcare providers to find out if this new medication is the right one for them. I want to skip over to Leah because I was told that she lives with psoriasis, but she's also the, an advocate and the president of the Psoriasis uh, Foundation. Leah, could you share a little of your story in the synopsis format for my audience? Sure. You know, my career has been really been all about trying to champion the causes of individuals living with chronic diseases. Ten years ago when I came to the National Psoriasis Foundation, it was really an honor for me to have an opportunity to speak up on behalf of a community that, as you shared, I'm actually a part of. You know, my own journey with psoriasis began more than 20 years ago. I was working full time, going to law school at night, planning a wedding. As you can imagine, there was a little bit of stress involved in all of that. And I actually think for me, stress was a trigger. So today, it's really important both to me and to the National Psoriasis Foundation to share information with our community to help them better manage their disease and to really empower them to have the types of conversations that Dr. Armstrong talked about to get to a place where their plaque psoriasis is well managed. Well, I can't think of a better advocate, it seems, uh, than you, Leah. Thanks for that information. Dr. Armstrong, as Leah talked about uh, being an advocate, you talked a little bit about treatment. Are these treatments available to the general public, or how do you get into a program so you could be treated? Yes, so I would first encourage our patients to make sure they see their dermatologists or their dermatology care providers and to get their psoriasis evaluated and to access this new medication. Uh, their 
healthcare providers can evaluate them and to determine if this is something right for them. And for our patients, as well as our healthcare providers, to find out more information about this new medication, they can go to SOTIK2, and that's S-O-T-Y-K-T-U dot com to find out more about this new medicine. Dr. Armstrong and Lee, I want to thank you so very much. My audience is weighing in on social media, but my time is run, run, excuse me, run out, so they'll have to go online and find out some more information. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I've partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.